take one. <laughs> in tonight's episode, we have my good friend Ed, Hello. and he's brought along his Porsche 987 2.7 litre five speed manual, um, and we're going to show it to you. So sit back, relax, grab a beer, and come and join us as we look at probably the best convertible ever made. Okay, good evening everyone. So I was in the market for a mid-engine sports car, preferably a soft top. Uh, I looked at the market, what was available, what was available at a good price, and would also be good fun. I really like driving, I'm really interested in cars, and I settled on the Boxster. For me, it offers a good amount of uh, drivability, it looks good, and it's a reliable car, but it's fun. I don't want something that goes not to 60 in two seconds. For me, it's about driving and enjoying it, and that's why I chose the Boxster. Myself and Ed, we've known each other for quite a few years and uh, we, we share the same passion for cars and um, he's beat me to buying a Boxster. They're one of my favourite cars and tonight we're going to head off to the local Porsche club meet uh, which happens every the la third Wednesday of every month. Yeah, third Wednesday. Um, and we're going to turn up, we're going to take some footage for you and then we're going to end the video, right? So, yeah, so let's just go around the car then. Ed, what are these wheels called? Are these a claw? Okay, no, these are the 18 inch uh, S alloys. I think the lobster claws are the 19s. I'm not too sure what these are called, but they are the upgraded ones for the 2.7. Yeah. Uh, going around it, one of the things I like is it's so practical. It's got a frunk on it, I think it's a modern term. Yeah. And it's got a rear boot as well. Obviously, that's because it's a mid engine. Um, so, yeah, it's a really good practical sports car as well. well what the viewers won't believe is how how much ed paid for this car and the process he went through to actually buy it i'll let him explain so i made a very quick decision one sunday i suddenly thought i'd um treat myself to a car i won't tell you how much i paid for it but basically on ebay i saw one and uh just went for a bid for it one sunday afternoon after a glass of wine and that was it it was mine picked it up two days later <laughs> didn't look at it in advance didn't do any research I thought I'd just take a punt and it's paid off. Yeah, some might say he's a nutter, <laughs> but he's actually done very well. He's got himself a lovely example and it's, it's pretty tidy. Um, I don't think there's any, any paint work issues, is there? Ed, it's, the interior looks good. Yeah. Lovely 987 interior, very simple, leather seats, uh, gray interior, five speed manual. And um, I know we've talked about it, me and Ed, in the past, the five speed manual is cheaper to tax yeah, isn't that's it? it. It's the early ones, the cheaper to tax. There is a bit of bodywork on the back that I could sort out, but I didn't really buy it for what it looked like. I just wanted a car I could enjoy, really, and not worry about the bodywork. Yeah. That's not really what I'm about. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, in terms of insurance? Uh... Insurance is cheap, so I am in my early 40s, no points, and it's I think it's around £300. So tax is cheap, insurance is cheap. So, yeah, it's actually a good, it's a good bargain car to buy, and yeah. I don't know why, if you're in the market for one, you wouldn't consider it. Yeah. So let's take a look inside the 987.1 Boxster. Um, this, as you can see, good old stunning Porsche dials. One of the best gearboxes Porsche have made. Very simple hi-fi layout. And then Bose hi-fi, subwoofer that comes out the back, wing deflector, it's tiny. I'm sitting in the driver's seat and I can literally touch the side. That's the view out the mirror. Um, now these cars were really light, these were just under 1300 kilos and um, over the years you know a lot of the Porsche models have got, got heavier and heavier, I think I think the most, the heaviest box is just over 1400 kilos. Um, but yeah, if you read the reviews online, everybody loves these, they're relatively cheap to maintain. Ed's nodding so that must be good. Independent um, garage. Independent garage, local to him and uh, keep on top of it I think this one came with full service so yeah not much to go wrong um, so now we're gonna jump in go for a drive and I'm gonna tell you a bit more about what it's like to get behind the wheel of one of these boxsters okay 
And although the ride is firm, it's actually well damped, isn't it? It's not like you're, you're being jolted all over the place. Yeah. It's not great on a long journey on the motorway. It's not a, a good car for that, but um, yeah, yeah, I reckon it. Good journey, hour or two hours, probably as much as you want to do in it, really. Yeah. So this is fourth gear, just cruising along, really, just picking up the speed, 50 miles an hour. Not even getting into the main power band, really. It's nice, nice and comfortable drive. Nice being in the passenger side. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good, yeah. There's quite a lot There's of room, loads though, of space, yeah. yeah. I mean, how tall are you? Six foot? Uh, five eleven, something like yeah. that. Yeah, there's loads of space. Put your feet out. Yeah. It's small though, isn't it? It feels yeah, small. It does it? feel small, yeah. I think that's the good thing about it as well, the fact it is it's not, if it was too big, you lose your kind of um I don't know, it's too ungainly then. At least this is compact and you can drive it nicely, but you feel the smallness. Yeah. If that makes any sense at all. That's one thing I'd change about it. Yeah. That rear view mirror is all floppy. Oh, is it? <laughs> is that... If you go around corners too quickly, it moves around. Does it? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that because of the vibrations in the engine? I don't know what it is. Yeah. It was just shit. Might just be old. <laughs> sounds so good. It's lovely. It's intoxicating. Oh, it's just... But yeah, so this one goes up to 175 miles an hour. The, the claimed top speed is 159. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't and want to do that in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, certainly with the roof down, anyway. Yeah. And the uh, 0 to 62 time in one of these is uh, just over six seconds. But it's such a raw car that feels much quicker. It really yeah. is like a go kart. The one of the issues with these is the. Um, Condensers on the front get stone chips in, so but up there behind the big open grill. That's right. So yeah. the left hand one's got a leak in it. So uh, I, again, I haven't, bothered, I haven't bothered to replace it because yeah. if I get hot, I put the roof down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. as simple as that. Exactly, yeah. And I know you can buy the uh, the mesh grills yeah. that go in that go in the front spoiler to yeah. present the rads. Yeah. I'm surprised Porsche never done that. They, they still don't do it on the they modern cars. It's weird. It's this the look, I think, though. The, it, I, I don't think they look very good, the mesh grills. Oh, interesting. But yeah. then to, um, I guess, for I think they're about 70, 80 pounds. I might be wrong there. But then to replace a uh, radiator is considerably dearer. Yeah, yeah. Upgraded Bose sound system in here. Yeah, um, I've never heard it. Ed, is it good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, for what it is, it's good. It's um, quite old-fashioned. You put CDs in it. It's got no auxiliary input, but CDs are pretty good quality. Yeah, it sounds good. No tape player. No tape player. Not no. quite that old. I think the 986 had a tape player. Did this, it? <laughs> this did without that. And there's a six-disc changer in the front as well. Cool. So if you open yeah. up the uh, front bonnet, remove one of the um, covers, there's a six disc changer in it. And is that Bose as well? It's just, a, it's just, uh, yeah, it's all, it's just the it? upgraded step. Well, I don't know if it's Bose, I think it's a Sony or something, but it's branded Porsche. Cool. But it's all part of the, uh, I think it was an upgrade when it was new, so it's also got heated seats as well, oh. which is an upgrade. Yeah. And that's a button you press. Yeah, button yeah. you press, two stage, go nice and hot straight away. Yeah. Electric wing mirrors. Yeah, electric wing mirrors. Yeah. You tell how old I am thinking that's a <laughs> that's a luxury. Most kids think that's standard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it's fit five gears are all quite long. If it's yeah. a six speed, it's probably changing a lot more. Yeah. 
I'm quite surprised how flexible it is. I thought doing 50 in fifth gear would be a bit of a struggle, but a lot of people say it's underpowered, but it kind of it can handle more power, but it doesn't really take away from it. Oh. Apart from the high mileage, it's uh, yeah. you've got lots of gear on it. Are you Ed's been tempted by upgrading to a sports exhaust now you haven't done it yet have you no, but not yet one is the cost oh, they're about a thousand pounds a thousand pounds i'd rather put the money into uh, going towards a 3.4987 ah, ah there we go secrets <laughs> out <laughs> Four. I mean, love it,